Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Rimworld. We currently have a bit of a problem. There is a bunch of mechs up here and I have no idea what to do with them. Uh, there is also a defoliating machine that is uh, slowly killing all the crops, so I'm gonna have to do something about them at some point. I'd like to somehow trick these guys into giving me a hand, but I don't think that's gonna work. If I get anywhere close to them, people come under an absolute hail of bullets, and we don't really have any ways of dealing with them. I could do with some super long-range weaponry, but I don't think I have any, and in order to make... Like a sniper rifle or something? I think, oh wait, can I do it through precision? Ooh, I could do it through precision rifling, but I need gas operation. It would take, probably, the whole episode to get gas operation, but you know what? I'm going to go for it, I'm going to try it. We've still got a few days until it grows to the point where it hits our crops, and then we're in serious trouble. I'm kind of hoping these guys will leave via that side of the map. I don't think they will, but you never know. Sylvie might be able to help, but she's currently in the biopod for another 18 days, so... No Scion Assist on our side today. Delicious lost an eye, is that why he's got that thing over his face? Ah, yes. <laughs> Who needs an eye anyway? Who needs an eye anyway? Okay, the trade caravan is leaving. Please go via the... Ah, oh, damn it. God damn you! God damn you! You've gone the wrong way! Oh, well, you know, I was holding out a vain hope that they may go towards these mechs. There's just so... There's, if I can get close, it's not so bad. If I can get close with my melee units, we could rip them apart. Problem is, they have literally a firing squad if we try to go anywhere near them. I Honestly, I haven't come across a situation like this before. There's also a distinct lack of cover over here. I guess here? I mean, I could try and build some cover, but even still, they basically all have sniper rifles. Most of my people have close range weaponry, and they're not going to get close enough for most of my people to have effective fire. Hmm. My Redwinds? Hey, Redwinds meditating? Very bizarre. Oh, I forgot we had ducks everywhere now, didn't we? The prime object. Close these here. We do have four idle colonists. I want to, uh. I want to get rid of these damn trees. Let's uh, set people to have something to do here. Gotta hope nobody wanders up towards the mechs. Detected a, wor a hunting work site nearby. We could go on a raid. I'd like it if uh, we get raided by somebody on that side of the map. That would be nice. It would definitely make things more fair. If I could just get rid of a couple of these blooming mechs, it wouldn't be so bad. There's just so many of them. We cleared out the trees there. I need to clear out these trees next. We're, do, we're making a bit of a beautifying episode, I think. While I'm desperately trying to think of a way of getting rid of these damn mechs. Admittedly, oh god, the, the defoliator's getting so close. Five a day. Look at how fast that thing's expanding, god damn. Farming works like oh, that could be a good raid if we need food. I can't even call in like backup from the Empire and things. I'm not high enough standing. And I just worry if we send people in, we're not fully equipped for war or anything. People are gonna die. If I could just peel off one or two at a time. Wouldn't be so bad. Or if I had a gun that I felt could actually kill them, that would also work. What if we send Lissa over there with a uh, hunting rifle? You like 
shoot one or two of them, or is she just going to come into a storm of... Oh, okay, storm of bullets. Storm of bullets it is. That's that's all of them. Oh, well, at least we worked out where the... Um, the summoning point is for them. Uh-oh. Look at the... Look at the disgusting range on that pikeman's needle, needle gun. Oh, my God. <sighs> what are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? Pray on Randy. Pray Randy throws me a bone here. Even if a raider attacks, I reckon like they're not going to get close enough. Like, look what happened to the poor refugees. Unless it's a particularly well-armed raid, I do not see them getting through. I can't even... I can't even get... Lisa in there with the rifle to just take out the defoliator because the range on the gun isn't enough. Maybe we'll get a, a sniper rifle. Maybe that will be enough to turn the tide of the battle here. But for that we have to wait for the research. And uh... Well, I mean it's coming. It's actually coming surprisingly quickly, all things considered. I feel somebody with a sniper rifle may be able to change things. Probably Lissa. Even though we need to still need to convert Lissa. She's a pain in the butt. I did realise that you can actually take out somebody's tongue at some point, and I was like, oh maybe we should do that. <laughs> Can't spread her lies if she doesn't have a tongue. Then I realised that's probably a little bit extreme. So I decided against it, you know, just because. Bit unfair, isn't it, really? Oh god, it's coming. See, what, what's really bad is we have to... Purple? Like, what is purple's researching stat? 12. Okay, it's not terrible. Exhaustion? Lissa? Oh, I'm sorry, Lissa. Oh god. Alright, gas operation. And then from gas operation, we need precision rifling. Let's get that done. Let's get that done right now. And we gotta make it, but luckily, like, Redwin's a really good crafter. Was it Redwin who's our crafter? Oh my god, I'm forgetting who who is everything. Redwin's kind of a good crafter. Not the best, but not the worst. We have somebody who's, like, world-renowned. Oh, Lissa. <laughs> Lissa is the world-renowned crafter. Wonderful. That would be a real shame if she got killed, wouldn't it, really? Hmm. Stop being careful. Oh, we're about making medkits again. How's that drug field soon? We could do with a trade run. From someone. Definitely do with a trade run. So many trees. Man, all my colonists sleep at really weird times. <gasps> Wait. Oh, you're on the wrong side, you bastards. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, Randy. Randy, Randy, Randy. I don't like you today. I do not like you today. What have I done to you, huh? What have I done to make this be so horrendous? Everyone assemble. They're attacking straight away. They're attacking immediately. They are. Here they come. Are they coming through the walls? I don't think they are. This is going to be a mess. You could have at least come the other way, you bastards. <laughs> oh, 
Uh oh. Well, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Um. Oh god. Wait, I'm Ryan. Ah, he's been stabbed by a bow. You bastards. Oh god, an iron. Please be careful. You're going to kill our own people. That person's name Scummy. Hey, get off my... The fact that that person just stood there and survived a chain shotgun at almost point blank, I have to give them some level of respect. Hey, you better run. God damn. Okay, well, we survived that. Luckily. Oh my. Now all we gotta do is work out a way to get rid of these guys. Still. They're like the never-ending mess. Hey, look, there's a guy here. Can we, can we save him? What am I going to do with all these dead bodies? Hmm. I guess I can Molotov them. Yeah, we do have a Molotov. I could always give it to Delicious and... Bad idea. Delicious will just get upset, won't he? Nice. 80, 88% suppressed. Delicious, can you go burn the bodies? Thanks. Oh, no, he worked. Sweet. Need to make sure we get rid of all those bodies, otherwise that room's going to fill up. So, let's hope no other horrible raids or anything. Nobody's, like, seriously hurt. Is everyone healed up here? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. Can I just be a pain and wake you up and make you heal everybody? Thank you. Alpaca 4 has given birth. Wonderful. More alpacas. <laughs> What are we going to do with all these alpacas? I mean, we could sell them, I suppose. We, we need somebody to actually... Uh, we need a trade partner. That's what we, what we need. A trade partner. Let's put all the dead bodies in here. No, what the hell are we going to do with all these bows? There's bloody hundreds of them. Oh, Ryan was in a shooting frenzy. I had no idea. Maybe that's why he was so efficient. I need to plant all these trees as well. Oh, is that all of them? I think it is. Hey, delicious. I got a job for you. Wait. Perfect. There we go. Body disposal. 101. I probably shouldn't leave him walking around with a bunch of Molotov cocktails, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Good lord, it's a thousand degrees C in there. Oof. Temporary workers. Refugee Empire needs help setting up a training ground. She's asking you to lend four colonists to serve for 17 days. We do really need the honor. I need the help of the, the Empire. <laughs> We're in trouble. We're getting close on precision rifling though, which is always good. I'm telling you, sniper rifle might be the solution to our problems. Maybe, M maybe not. Maybe we'll get raided by something else and it'll be an absolute horrible mess. And I mean, all I'm hoping is that whoever raids us raids from the top. Right. Or because it's Randy, Nothing will happen. For ages. 
and that will just slowly creep and take all my food and kill us all. I'm wondering if I could build some sort of defenses or something, but every time I look at doing it, it's just like... I said, for me, for it to be effective for us, we have to get much closer. Their aggro range is so wide that they just come and attack us straight away. It's just not going to work. Plant these. I need to replant these trees as well. Otherwise, people are going to get upset. And all the trees are dying. That one's... That one is too close to the farm. Be careful where I plant them as well, because other will cut down trees to plant other trees, which is, you know, not as helpful as you'd think. Can there be more bloody trees? As I get rid of the trees, more of them just appear, I swear, I'm convinced. I mean, obviously they grow. Clean up the bloody mess in there. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Where are my farmers? Oh, we must be actually... Um, reaping our crops. But why is nobody coming and digging up these trees? By the time we dig them up, they'll... Uh, somebody else will have... Some more of them will have grown. Hey, it's getting really bloody close now. Our fridge is full as well. I have to start thinking about getting a bigger fridge. Are these, are these elephants eating my uh, psychoid leaves? Let me explain a few things. Logging site controlled by the Alliance of Barrow. Not too helpful. We don't really need wood. We definitely need a trader, my god. We need to get rid of some of this junk. So much junk right now. Oh my god, why have we got so many... Arrows. Oh, it's because I turned this off to stop people from... Melting slag. Let's turn it back on again, but just for weapons. And see if that, uh... Gets rid of some of those bows and things that are in our storage, because they're just taking up space. Ryan's still in bed. Yeah, he's, he's recovering. He's recovering slowly. Poor man. How much yayo do we have? 150, 200... 200 yayo, good lord. Not an insignificant amount of money, is it? We just probably won't see a trader for the next, like, five episodes. And then there's going to be... Maybe like 500 yayo, and then somebody's going to go on a binge and just huff the entire lot and, and die a very slow and painful death. That's my that's my current prediction, anyway. Okay, we're making more med kits. How many did I say to make? 60. 60 seems a bit excessive, you know. Pop that down to like 40, because otherwise we're going to be here all day. I'd rather you were turning those those leaves into drugs, my dear. <laughs> Just in case a trade caravan comes. Not that a trade... I mean, no, my luck, a really good, profitable trade caravan will spawn up here. And, well, yeah. We all know how that's going to end. Fire and brimstone. Death to them all. Here we go, okay. Go back to the research screen. Get a minigun. No, uh, fabrication. We'll go for fabrication again. But, very importantly here, let's make ourselves a sniper rifle. Could make some assault rifles as well. I don't know how much these cost. 60 steel, 8 components. They're not cheap. But I want Lissa to make it. Hopefully she's actually tied down for crafting. She is. Okay, let's see if Lissa goes and makes that. Yep, she's doing it right now. 
Please make a master work. It'd make my life so much easier. I'm not, uh, uh, you know, the chances of it happening are pretty slim, but there is a chance. Could make some assault rifles instead of SMGs for our, like, secondary good shooters. I could also make some flak armor and stuff. That might actually be not that bad of an idea. I don't remember where you make flak armor, though. You make helmets here. Is it the tailoring bench you make flak armor? Seems on doesn't seem like it would be, but you never know. I don't see it. Maybe I haven't unlocked it? I could just be being blind. Yeah, we, we could do with some form of armor. Oh, a vengeful child from Yak Braga is passing by. Okay, be careful. There's some dangerous stuff up north. Oh dear, that's exactly where you're going. Pass, pass by the other way. Pass by the other way, no. Don't do it. Don't walk into the fog. Oh no. Run! Oh. I mean... She survived for a surprisingly large amount of time. All things considered. That was a lot of shots before she got killed. <laughs> oh man. Hopefully they don't hold me responsible for that death. I, I feel like that's slightly unfair if they do. Toxic fallout? Uh, she's hiding from a pack of starving wolves. She wants to flee and join you at nature's home. You can only kill the wolves by setting fire to a massive toxic chemical dump nearby. 17 days of toxic fallout. No. Sorry. Because toxic fallout... If that killed mechs, I'd be all for it, but it doesn't. If that killed mechs, it would stop... At least I don't think it does. I'm going to Google this. Hang on. Does toxic fallout affect mechs? No, what are they called? They're not called mechs, are they? They're called like... I call them mechs, but their proper name is something else. Mech hive, I guess? Maybe they are called mechs. Immune. God damn it. I kind of assumed they were going to be immune. But, you know, I figured it was worth a look. Just in case. Because that would have been a smart move, wouldn't it? I don't normally look things up when I'm playing this game, which is probably why a lot of things happen that do happen. But, uh, I don't know. I felt like maybe... A solution had presented itself, and I'd be a fool if I didn't do it. Yeah, let's build up this, uh, stop the trees growing back here. There's another tree. God damn it. Oh, too late. <laughs> oh, build complete. Complete sniper rifle. Where is it? I mean, it's good. I, I mean, um, you know, I was, hold I was holding out for a... I mean, it's better than a poor, sni uh, poor hunting rifle, though. Right, Lissa, what is the range on this thing? Can we go cause some trouble for the, uh, the mech hive of this thing? Or is it the same? Is it the same range as the frickin'? Oh no, they're coming. Missed! Oh my god. This is a dumb idea. I don't like this. Oh 
you hit them though. Okay, how much damage does that do? He shot off his left index finger. I mean, out of all the things you could do, that's not, not great. Even if I could just thin them out slightly. Okay, we hit its fluid reprocessor. I don't know what that is either. Oh, good trader. No, don't. Don't come this way. Actually, maybe come this way. Oh, okay. No, this has been hit. In the leg. Great. So it's movement. Her movement has been affected. Isn't that a pain? Use the rock as cover. Let's get out of there. Oh god, is that they're still in range? Ah, let's take it out of range. Woo! Okay, so we hurt one of them. Ever so slightly. Not really a permanent solution, is it? Uh-oh. Guys, what are you doing? Don't don't do it. Don't don't go that way. Don't don't go that way. No. Wait. Are we okay? Are they ignoring you? Okay, now you're alright. They're ignoring you. Woo! That's close. That's very close. My main question for these guys is how much do you like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh Okay, who's our best talker? It's normally, was it Sylvie normally? But she's in... Yeah, so it's Redwin. Let's see what trades we can do here. I'd like to buy some alpacas. I have many alpacas. Look at they like Yeah, yeah. $15 a chunk. That's way too much. Okay. Do you have anything I want to buy? Oh, you know what? I'm going to sell you all of my junk. Hey, alpaca wool is not actually that bad of a... $2 a, $2 a bale is not actually that bad, all things considered. Do you have any components? I need components. No, you don't sell components. Well, that's just bloody annoying. Um, what do we have here? We have my alpaca, female, male, female, male, female, female. Well, that's their alpaca. Okay, let's sell two alpacas. I don't really have anything that I want, which is a bit crap. So I'm just gonna like empty out the silver. <laughs> Good enough. Thanks for the silver. Got rid of some of our yo yo. How's Lissa doing? She's been patched up. Yep. <sighs> so we slightly hurt one of them. Don't even know which one it was. This one. Oh, this one's slightly hurt as well. Okay, I slightly hurt two of them. Lissa who did that? No, it was like somebody else. The unaffiliated. The unaffiliated. Sounds evil, doesn't it? We are coming up to where I need to end the episode, but I feel like we haven't actually achieved anything that I wanted to achieve. <laughs> uh, bit of a shame, really. Um, I kind of wanted to see if we can get rid of this, because this is getting dangerously close. Like, in the next episode, I definitely have to get rid of this. If I don't, we're in serious trouble. But, for now, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.